everyone welcome back so for today's video i am doing one that has been requested so much on my instagram and i've been waiting for the parcels i've had the parcels now for about a month but i've just completely forgot about them so today we are testing out vulva um now if you're not familiar with the app it's basically just like an online shop but it is famous for its designer dupes which we're going to be testing today so I um, picked up six different things. I think the total was around 30 to 40 pounds. I can't actually log into my Vova. I don't know why, it just isn't working. So I can't actually get um, the exact total for you. I will try and get each individual price and put it on the screen and then compare it to the um, original designer um, item. I'm gonna start with the testing designer dupes. I'm very excited. So I'm gonna go for the first one that I have opened. Um, Completely forgot about everything that I got. So this is a Tommy Hilfiger hat, dupe, designer copy, you know. Honestly, you could not tell with this hat, like you couldn't. If you look closely to the actual stitching, it is a little bit off. There's some navy that's in the red and it shouldn't really be in the red. Um, and it's just not the best stitching. However, if you were to wear this on holiday, I honestly do not think it would be noticeable. Like no one is that close to you to see the actual symbol. I honestly think this looks fine. Like you could get away with this if you were to just walk past someone wearing this. They're not just gonna look and be like, that's fake. That is fake. I've just checked the price of a real Tommy Hilfiger hat. 30 pound, right? And I bought this. Obviously it's fake, but I bought this for £4.55 and it comes in pink and a black as well. I was tempted to get the pink, but I thought that I would probably get more uses out of the way. I would happily wear this on a, like, summer's day in the garden, because who cares? Like, you can get, literally, a nice hat, the logo on, for £4.55 instead of £30. Completely up to you if you want to get it. You know, some people are a little bit weird about that. I personally wouldn't buy, like, Balenciaga shoes because I know that I would never ever wear them out because I'd be too scared because they're not real. Which is kind of like strange because that's just how the world is. But this hat I would probably wear. It has got Tommy Hilfiger inside as well. But I think that's upside down. Yeah, it's upside down. Um, whether they're upside down in the actual hats, I don't know. But it is a nice fit. And it's a good quality hat for like £4. Sometimes with like Balenciaga shoes or a Gucci bag or a Louis Vuitton bag, you can tell a mad difference and you can so tell that it's fake. But if someone was to walk past me wearing that, I would not know they got it on Vova for £4.55. pence. You just wouldn't. You wouldn't. That's quite a gold find, honestly. If I didn't put this video on and I wore that, nobody would have a clue. The next item is a Louis Vuitton little purse thing. I would not wear this out, like I wouldn't carry this around with me. I'd probably wear it for an Instagram photo, like hard work pays off. So this purse is on Vova for £16.57. I don't think that that's the correct listing for the one that I bought. But yeah, this is the bag, the little purse. Um, so, Louis Vuitton symbols are upwards and then on the back they are upside down. I think that's one thing where you can tell it's fake, but I did see a TikTok where it said that that is a real authentic bag. Obviously, this isn't. On the little tag there, it says Louis Vuitton made in France. It also has Louis Vuitton on the zip too. That's the inside. It's like a brown suede. It's got one pocket as well inside and then, of course, it's zipped. So, this is known as a pouch, um, a toiletry pouch on Louis Vuitton and it is £290 for this. But this one was £16. Again, if someone was to walk past me in the street, you know, with this bag, I would not think twice. I wouldn't even think that that was fake because I'm just not really educated on designer. Um, I think a lot of people can tell a fake or a real within a huge distance, whereas me, I really couldn't care less. I'm not really bothered. The majority of people do probably buy it for themselves because they want to treat themselves, but so many people buy them just to like look good. Honestly, a Primark belt, a Gucci belt, <laughs> if you're a good person, who cares? That's how I look at it. Um, but if you've got the money and you want to treat yourself, then I've got no problem with it. I've got no problem with designer. I would buy it if I had the money. But yeah, I think this is really cute. And I actually don't think that you could tell on like a photo because this looks like so similar to the Louis Vuitton one. Maybe you could tell a little bit with the shape of it because the real one might be a lot more squared off at the bottom. Um, as you can see, like that's a little bit bumpy. It goes like down there. But yeah, the quality is what you pay for. It's not the best quality, but it's not terrible. It isn't terrible. You could definitely have that as a bag. I don't think I'd go out in it though because I'd be too scared of being judged. 
and people think oh my god she thinks she got a real bag i know that i bought it off over for 16 pound i know but people are so judgmental when it comes to designer items they just are i think everybody knows that but yeah i would probably rate that mm, maybe like a four or five out of ten as a dupe because it's not too bad but it's not amazing you know but by looking at it i don't think that that's too bad apart from this bump here Maybe a 4 out of 10 then, yeah. You know, if you've not got the money but you want to look bougie, then, you know, go for it. Okay, so the next item is a Calvin Klein set. I actually opened this months ago. I got this so long ago now. Um, it was actually the first item that arrived from Vova. I was absolutely gobsmacked by this. So my old boss bought me a grey Calvin Klein set in Harrods when I went to London. And... Oh, let me just get it, let me just get it. So I can't find the fong, um, but I do have the sports bra here. It's still got the tag on. But this is a sports bra, okay? Um, that's the real sports bra. This was £30 just for this. Not gonna lie, right? It's a nice set, don't get me wrong. But I really don't rate it. Like, £30. Quality of these are not even that good. Like, it's a nice soft stretch material, don't get me wrong. But, like, it's it's thin. You literally are paying for the name. They probably made this for, like, £3. And they're selling it for £30 because it's got Calvin Klein on, you know. It's what I mean. Like, designer products are made pretty cheap. And they're selling for crazy amounts just because of the name. I find it quite interesting looking at the tags, too. So, that is the fake tag. And that's a real tag. So obviously I think you can tell that that's fake by the tag anyway. I'd be able to tell that that's fake. But the material of this is like the same if not better than the original which I find crazy. So obviously the grey one's a real one and the red one is a fake one. Now the only thing that I can see is that the font is a lot bigger and obviously the grey little box is maybe slightly darker. Yeah the grey box is darker um, but that's the only thing that I can see. So, like, if I was to look at that and judge the quality of the material as well, I would not think for one minute that it was fake. Like, I just wouldn't. And, like, if you were to take a photo with that on Instagram, you would not think it was fake because you couldn't tell. So, it's £48 for a set on Calvin Klein, which is £18 for the phone and then £30 for the sports bra. Um, genuinely, people pay that because of people that like promote it obviously it's calvin klein as well but like kendall jenner promotes calvin klein and justin bieber promotes calvin klein so that is one of the reasons why people will spend money on it i mean i've got a calvin klein set like they're nice but they're a bit overrated 48 pound for the authentic one the fake one which you can hardly tell a difference also i love the red eight pound 79 pound 79 um and the only little difference obviously the fong as well it's just got like a darker grey stripe and just bigger font. That is literally it. I don't think a lot of people could tell that that's fake. Would never ever look at that and be like, that font is way too big. Like, nah, that's fake. Like, never. Some people might though. Unless I'm just stupid, I don't know. But I think that is a good Jew. Okay, the next item is something that I'm very scared of. Like, really scared. So, it is some thick airpods this is how they came they didn't have any like plastic around which is quite bad to be honest um it's just like a weird box oh my god oh my god oh my god does that cringe anyone else out you know when you like print photographs off and it's got the squeaky material <gasps> oh my god it makes my skin crawl and that is the same material on this box it's horrible it like squeaks Ooh. anyway moving on okay this this is another level of cheap in my eyes so this is in like a little plastic bag um, oh, okay. So that is the case. Now it's that very hollow plastic. With these you can definitely tell a fake, even just by looking at the packaging. Um, not that it matters, I've seen people promote earbuds that are the same as AirPods for like £30 and I would definitely buy them instead of the AirPods because why would you spend £100 on AirPods when you get them cheaper? Obviously not this cheap. These are like dirt cheap. I think these are like £4. They sell these for £2.68. I don't know if these are the exact ones, but I think they are. Um, oh my God. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not recommending getting these at all because I feel like they're going to explode in my ears. But we'll give them a go. Oh my God, why am I so scared of these? Oh, I've never ever tried AirPods. So let's have a little go. Oh, oh. oh my God, I hope they're not putting like a chip in me. Like the government thing. Ugh. Let's have a read. Oh, they come with a wire. 
Okay, so these are not charged, so I'm gonna put these on charge and we'll come back to them. Okay, I've just plugged them in, they're flashing red, which means they are charging. So, I got a Machino phone case. Again, if it's on your phone and you're calling someone and someone looks at it, they are not gonna think that is a fake. That is a fake phone case. Like, I just, I just wouldn't do that. I mean, I don't know everyone's different, but I just wouldn't think like that. I mean, now I'm looking at it, maybe it is a, is a little bit fake. So this is like a rubbery case. I can't find the exact one on Machino anymore. Um, am I saying that right? Machino? But by the looks of things, these go for around 50 to 53 pound, maybe a bit less, I don't know. So if I just go on Volvo, we'll um, watch the magic happen. But this is three pound 63. It's just crazy, isn't it? Like they're on Machino for like what? 50 pound? Can you get this for like three pound? It's crazy. I'm sure that there will be a big difference, um, you know, in regards to like the quality of the case. I mean, this is rubbery. And if you can see closely, it's quite like a grainy um, type of case. I don't think Machino ones are. But if I was to see someone again with this phone case texting away, walking down the road, like you would just not think it, would you? Like, if I just pop that on my phone, whoop. 53 pound on a phone case. Like I say, I would not be able to tell. The authentic cases might be better quality, but this actually isn't that bad. It's quite thick on the sides. And if you are looking for a cute little phone case, even if you just like the design, you don't want a designer one, you know, the teddy's quite cute. Um, then you could just go on Vovo and get one for like, what, three pound 60? It is crazy. So yeah, that is the phone case. I might actually keep that on, it's quite cute. So the next item that I bought is a card tearing um these are selling on vova for two pound 16 pence you can get them in gold and rose gold and silver i picked up the silver one okay just thought i would come in here and talk to you about this ring um i look a mess this is why you're looking at the screenshot of the rings um but i cannot stress enough how much of a bargain this is i just needed to tell you all because it's two pound 16 right i filmed this video in may it is now July and I have worn this so many times. I've slept in it, I've showered in it. My finger has never gone green. Um, like, I don't know, is it sterling silver? I have no idea, but it's such a nice ring and it is just, uh, I'm mind blown that this is like £2.16, but yeah, definitely go get yourself one. It is so good. A Cartier ring like this, just a silver one, £1,580. That might seem like one pound to some people because they're that rich, fair enough. But, oh my God. I mean, if I was rich, then you just wouldn't really care. I mean, I'd rather spend it on like, you know, charities and stuff, like instead of a, just a ring. But, you know, if you had enough money to get both, then uh, you do that. Honestly, I don't even know what size I got. I think I got it for that thing. Oh my God. Bougie, bougie. Honestly, that is a nice fit. I love the fact that it's on that finger. I was bin cleaning with my dad. <laughs> he cleans bins for a living. Got his own business, big up gym. Anyway, I was cleaning one day at work with him. I thought, let's go to work with my dad. Um, we were cleaning bins and I had a real silver ring on my finger, which I thought was expensive. Like 20 to 30 quid for a sterling silver, you know. That. <laughs> but 1,500, you know, that's, that's fine. Yeah, I was cleaning bins and that meant so much to me because I think it was my mum's or my dad's and I just loved to wear it on this finger every single day but I lost it when I was working with my dad because I was like moving all the pooey bins around and it was just off. Oh, so I couldn't actually find it after that because obviously it was in a bin somewhere which I was quite upset about but this just reminds me of it because obviously it wasn't Cartier you know 1500 but um, it was just meaningful to me because it had like sentimental value with it belonging to my mum or my dad I think when they were younger so yeah it was quite sad. But I got a good dupe for Cartiana for two quid. <gasps> Honestly, let me just look at a photo because <laughs> do I have a £1,500 ring to compare this to? No, I don't. If you've got a Cartier ring yourself, then you will know that there is a huge difference probably between this ring and the one you've got, obviously. Um, I think with Cartier products, they give you like a um, screwdriver. Screwdriver? That is a weird word, screwdriver. <laughs> do you ever just pronounce words and you're like, what? Anyway, back to the point. Um, apparently Cartier products come with like a screwdriver which you um, screw it on with. I don't know, I've never owned one. I don't think I ever will. 
but apparently that is the truth behind Cartier. Obviously this doesn't come with a screwdriver, it's just a ring on its own. Um, I think this is bougie and I'm gonna tell everyone I bought a Cartier. No, I'm joking. I'm pronouncing that so Yorkshire. Cartier, Cartier. It's probably Cartier, caviar. But yeah, honestly, this reminds me of the big cleaning days of my dad. I'm just so buzzing. I got it back for two pounds 16. Well, you lot, go on over now and get yourself Cartier. I got this in a size A. It says Cartier inside, 750. I don't know what the bloody hell that means. Um, but I'm living for it. I like it, it's quite like a thick, chunky ring. And I like that, I wanted to get it in silver. I might get it in gold and rose gold, at that bloody price. Jeez, God, look at me with my Moschino case and my Cartier ring, oh my God. God, I feel like I'm rich. Honestly, after this lockdown, I'm gonna be going out and my friends are like, oh, I wanna lose. You've earned so much money during lockdown. I know. Anyway, on to the last product. Still haven't forgot about the AirPods, they're just charging. Again, it is Moschino. Moschino. Who knows? This, to me, is lovely. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. That material is very nice. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, it's very soft. I was not expecting that. I thought it was going to be one of them really like, ugh, t-shirts that just are so like rough, you know? You know the rough type? This is very nice. It reminds me of the pyjamas I get at Primark that are really soft and just nice to wear. Absolutely loving this already. It is my pyjama top now. Because I just wouldn't wear this out because I think people could tell. So yeah, this is a top. Wow, the quality of this is fab. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let me just check because I actually couldn't find this on Vova earlier but... We will check, we will see. Okay, I cannot find the exact one at all. Um, however, I can find a similar one which says Machina, oh God, ignore me. Um, Couture with Milano on the bottom. That one was £13.45, but I am sure that I got this cheaper. I don't know, I think I got it for around seven to eight pound. Not complaining, I actually love the quality of this. It is super nice. So, for a t-shirt on Machina, for a woman's t-shirt, um, you're looking around £130 to around £300. The ones that are similar to the one that I've got here are around £130 to um, £230. I got this bad boy for around £8, so I'm not complaining. This will be perfect for a nice PJ top. It's so soft. Um, so yeah, I'll be wearing that as my PJ top. Okay, I'm gonna check my AirPods. Oh, okay, they've gone blue now, so that might mean something. Oh my God, I'm so, so scared. I feel like it's gonna be one of them iCarly moments where something just sets on fire. Can you hear that? Oh my God, I feel like I'm in an ASMR. <laughs> that is good. Now for the actual real test, you know, actually putting them in the ears. Call me on the cell phone. Not bad, I think I got them for about two to four pound. They are going for like two pound on Vova. They're a bit like, um, what's the word? They're a little bit muffled when you listen to them. They're a bit like, not like shh, but like, they're just not very loud. But honestly, they're not bad. Personally, I'm not gonna use these because I'm too scared they're gonna blow up in my ear, to be honest. I probably will invest in some, not AirPods, because I just think they're way too expensive. Like I could get a pair now, but I'm not spending a hundred pound on AirPods. I'd rather buy some for like 30 pounds. They're gonna be fine quality and they're probably just the same as AirPods to be honest. So yeah. However, these are actually bad. Like they're not, I probably wouldn't recommend getting them because you just never know with things like this. They're a little bit, you know, if, if something's like cheap like this, technology wise, it scares me. I've seen so many charges blow up. So yeah, maybe don't get these, but for the money, they're actually good. I thought they weren't gonna work. I thought they were just gonna turn up and be like really bad or blow up, but they haven't done that yet. Let's not talk too soon though. Okay, that was every single thing in the haul. If you are wanting a ring and you're not bothered about designer, I think that's a really nice ring to go for. I just really like it. I don't need to worry about it exploding, so it's fine. Calvin Klein set, 10 out of 10, eight pound for that. Love it. Definitely would be wearing that. But yeah, that has been the full video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Au revoir. I like me better when I'm with you I like me better when I'm with you